Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Wednesday, the 20th of May. Starting off with AFC Energy, where we've had this gap through uh, neckline resistance uh, around the, um, what's that, the 17 pence level, as well as a gap uh, above the 50 day moving average at 15 pence. So that looks pretty serious in terms of. Uh, a move to the upside, uh, end of day close above that neckline and uh, we're looking at uh, hopefully initial retest of uh, 25 pence uh, resistance from March but uh, best case scenario target up as high as 45 pence which seems a bit ambitious but uh, after all the consolidation that we've had uh, that could be possible. This stage only really back below the 50 day line at 15 pence really uh, uh, dampens the uh, bullish speculation on a technical basis. A lot of chit chat still about uh, Braveheart and uh, Interesting that uh, after several days of the stock uh, grinding around, around either side of the 20-day uh, moving average at uh, 28 pence, we're still roughly where we were, 27 to 30 pence range. Probably the easiest thing here is, uh, is to wait for an end-of-day close above uh, recent 31, 32 pence uh, resistance, especially as the uh, potential upside once we uh, get through this log jam would be uh, up towards the 60 pence level, so giving away a couple of pence here or there. Shouldn't be um, uh, too difficult. Uh, the other point to note, I suppose, which is a positive one, is that all this consol consolidation has occurred um, above the neutral 50 level um, uh, at uh, it's currently at 56 on the RSI. And uh, the longer that stays, uh, the state of affairs, uh, the greater the chance of a uh, quite sharp push to the upside. So nothing wrong with being in the stock there at the moment, uh, given that RSI configuration. Uh, nothing quite so uh, uh, sort of equivocal as far as the next chart is concerned. Condor Gold, massive breakout here to the upside. Reminds me of the way that some of the farmers were moving uh, last week or the week before. But uh, here we've got a uh, break of that initial uh, May resistance of 47 pence above that. Uh, and uh, we're looking as high as uh, the February price channel top of 90 pence over the next month or six weeks. So uh, pretty spectacular uh, stuff there in terms of that uh, setup on Condor Gold. Uh, not quite as exciting with uh, Echo Energy, but at least it's here in terms of the heroes. A strong uh, green candle we've had today after the false break uh, through the 50-day line at the end of April. A uh, good thing, I suppose, for May is that we've had higher higher lows. Uh, and uh, the view at this stage is at least while we're above the 50-day uh, line at 0.56, looking towards a target as high as 1.2 pence at the top of that rising March trend channel. Uh, the other point to note, I suppose, is that uh, end of day close above 0.82. That April peak is the uh, uh, neckline resistance on a potential extended recovery, and that could take the shares up towards uh, filling the gap towards uh, what 1.82 pence uh, if uh, we uh, get get a weekly close above that particular area. But at least 1.2 pence looks uh, relatively easy to achieve. Gfinity is a stock which I've uh, covered a couple of times before and uh, I think it's uh, behaved itself reasonably well, especially in uh, March. Uh, shame about the pullback that we had uh, back to the one pence zone, but uh, recent uh, price action at and above the 50 day moving average, which uh, does suggest that uh, finally we may uh, go up and stay up. Uh, the best case scenario here at the moment is that uh, above the 50 day line at 1.36 and especially above one and a half pence, we could hit the top of that rising trend channel from March as high as three and a half pence. So uh, something to look forward to there potentially. Uh, Jersey is next, Jersey Oil and Gas. Here we've had a neckline break. Neckline there at, uh, what's that, 77 pence above that on an, end, uh, on an end of day close basis. And we could head towards uh, that February resistance line and the 200 day moving average up towards one pound 40. So uh, looking pretty sprightly there, especially with today's very solid looking uh, green candle. Uh, on to uh, Modern Water, which uh, has had a lot of, uh, say, hype, or, or at least enthusiasm on uh, Twitter over recent times. Uh, I think it's a sort of COVID related in some way as well. So a bit of excitement there as well. But uh, uh, looking at the most uh, bullish scenario here, we've got a wide rising trend channel in place from uh, July last year. And uh, we've actually also gapped through the 200-day moving average at 1.27, so a couple of very big uh, bullish uh, signals there. Uh, the view at this stage, at least while we're above uh, the December support area, 1.6, 1.7, uh, sorry, December resistance area, 1.6, 1.7 pence, 
uh, we could head up towards that uh, big target at five pence. So something for the uh, bulls to uh, uh, get enthused about. Uh, stock which was new to me uh, as of this morning uh, is uh, Supply Me uh, Capital. I'm, sure, I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be Supply At Me Capital, but uh, never mind. Whatever it is, S-Y-M-E. Uh, we've got a falling wedge here, uh, ri rising share price off uh, practically zero, which is interesting. Uh, the view at this stage, though, is an end-of-day close above uh, that resistance line from April at around the 0.25 pence level. Could be enough to take the stock up for a new uh, leg to the upside and that April resistance line projection at 0.47 pence. Uh, the key here, I suppose, is for uh, an end-of-day close uh, above uh, 0.25 just to get to recover that low that we had from April. So uh, turn this into a bear trap rebound. Uh, Turn uh, had a good update or a solid update in terms of uh, what it's doing today um, uh, and the shares have responded reasonably well. Uh, what Probably what we're looking for at the moment if you are a bull of the stock uh, is an end of day close above that mid-May uh, resistance, neckline resistance at 12 pence. If we can get through that uh, then uh, the upside could be reasonably significant uh, probably towards uh, the 18 to 20 pence area. Uh, obviously, we've been blocked uh, on a number of occasions, uh, uh, notably by the 16 pence level, but the, the rising trend channel that we have at the moment above 10 pence uh, could take the shares up to uh, 20 pence, uh, no matter what the cynics may say regarding the fundamentals. On to uh, Velocis as the last stock of the day. Uh, we had the spike, uh, I think, the other week uh, through towards uh, four and a half pence. A uh, rather nasty retracement after that, uh, back to uh, 2.9, uh, 3 pence or so. Uh, but we're back up again and uh, heading towards, hopefully, the uh, top of this rising trend channel uh, that I drew uh, a couple of weeks back, uh, heading towards uh, 7.5, 8 pence. Uh, end of day close above uh, that initial May peak at 4.34 pence would be the uh, key to uh, the stock uh, pushing on higher towards uh, 7 or eight pence over the next few weeks. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.